no matter what level of intensity you use in your sparring, you're going to want to develop power. And good news, I've got you covered. We're going to start by combining moving your mass with moving your stick. This is a good place to start to really build power. First drill, cutting X's with shuffle steps. Every time you strike, you're going to take a step forward to maximize the mass in each strike. Next drill, a wood tick as a setup and a log tick as a follow through strike, each time accompanied with side to side stepping. Summation of joint forces is just a fancy way of saying that every body part contributes a little more force to your strike. A lot of people just swing the stick with their arm, and that cheats them of the force that they could be developing. You're definitely going to want to work with bigger, heavier sticks because they're going to give a real boost to your grip and your ability to transmit force. That said, they're not so great for fighting or sparring because they do move slowly. Of course, you're going to want to do a lot of Carenza, focusing exclusively on power strikes. Developing power and integrating it into your fighting game are two separate things, and Carenza is the way to make that happen. Both of the sticks I'm using here are rattan, but really there's no limit. Um, if you want, you could use a baseball bat, a piece of pipe, or an axe handle. Uh, all I ask is that you make sure you're well away from any fence. Any strength building exercise will have benefits, but because sticks use rotational motion, exercises that develop that are important. Things like kettlebells, sandbags, exercise bands, Maces, all of these are good ideas. Hitting the tire is a staple method in the Filipino martial arts, and unlike a sparring partner, the tire won't complain if you're hitting too hard. Okay, now you're ready to put some stopping power into your sticks, but can you get that power where it needs to go? Luckily, I've got you covered with this video.